Hey guys, Russ here with Russ Roams. Today, we're gonna do a compression test and a boroscope of our engine as part of my condition inspection. Now, I've never done a compression test before, so today we're just gonna have to wing it. Uh, I'm gonna lose subscribers on that. So here's the aft end of the exhaust. And on, on canards, your exhaust is right up against the propeller here. It's desirable for items not to fall out of the engine and hit the prop. Somebody had recommended to put the safety wire on this clamp in case this ever broke. Honestly, I thought it was a pretty low likelihood that that would ever happen, but I put the safety wire on last week just as a matter of course. And, and check out the other side. My band clamp had completely broken. And if I did not put the safety wire on, I guess it could have worked its way backwards and hit the prop. So maybe put that safety wire on. So from here, all I have to do is pull the plugs and get my compression tester out for the first time and see if it works. So then this adapter fitting goes into the spark plug thread on this side and uh, the compression tester hooks up to this side. This is the tester. Uh, I think on this side is the, the source air and this side is the pressure that the cylinder is holding. So I'm gonna install this on cylinder number one and then turn this on and then hold onto the prop so it doesn't blow around and see how that goes. Uh, if we're lucky, the prop will uh, hit me and then we'll be YouTube fans. So now we just need to find top dead center for this is cylinder number one on my engine. So you do that by putting your thumb over the hole and when it builds pressure, that's when you know you're at top dead center and I think I just found it actually. Hold on to the prop and hook this up and then turn this on maybe. Jesus, dude, that builds a lot of pressure. Holy shit. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm gonna get uh, some gloves, I think. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, it went higher than uh, 80. Dude, that is like seriously, that is seriously a lot of pressure. Holy shit. <laughs> We're building about uh, 78 PSI out of 80, I think, on cylinder number one. So I'm gonna go around and do all the cylinders uh, by myself, even though it's probably not a great idea after discovering how much force that prop puts on it, but we're gonna do it anyway. You too. Okay, I think that's it for compression testing. All of my cylinders are high 70s over 80, which is great. It's a brand new engine. Shouldn't be having any problems. Uh, knock on fiberglass. Uh, next up, we're going to pull out my boroscope and we're going to take a look at each one of the cylinders while the uh, spark plugs are out. Okay, so boroscoping. Basically, you take a camera on the end of a stick it's just a usb camera and there's a there's a little button on the end here that when you press it the the end of it will curl 180 degrees all we have to do is go through the spark plug hole and then by by twisting and turning and pressing the button we can kind of aim this camera towards uh what it is we want to look at I find it a lot easier said than done. Let me get my laptop out and get this going. So I have my laptop set up off screen here. I 
here. If I remember correctly, for this particular app, you need to fire up the camera app. I just need to remember how to switch this to from camera app. Okay, so uh, I got the camera set up. I just need to uh, take a picture of the... If you're gonna replace your spark plugs, there's a handful of things that you need. My engine is an IO360 with standard spark plugs. This is a 7 8 U-R-E-M-4-0-E. If you have the same spark plugs, I'm gonna tell you everything that you need to remove and replace your spark plugs. First, you need a torque wrench. The plugs will go on at 30 foot-pounds, and the B-nut, the nut that holds the wire harness to the end of the plug, uh, will be 10 foot-pounds. You will also need a winning personality. You will also need brand new copper gaskets. Uh, you're supposed to throw these away, do not reuse them. You will also need anti-seize. I'm using ATS2612. Just use a little drop of this on the threads, try not to get it near the electrode. You will also need a special 6.78 socket. This is the B-nut that connects the spark plug harness to the spark plug wire. If you're wondering how to torque this B-nut to 10 foot-pounds, what you want is something called a claw foot. This allows you to put a torque wrench on an offset. Just be sure to put your torque wrench handle at 90 degrees to the claw foot or else you'll get a mechanical advantage and your torque setting won't be correct. <laughs> Man, doing a CI in Alabama in the middle of summer in a 100 degree hangar and 100% humidity is just about, it's not fun. So I think I'm gonna maybe do a, a mid CI next year with a weather cooler and then that way I every year I'll have a little bit better weather for doing it. Thanks for joining me on this one guys. While you're hanging out, maybe you could watch this video. See you later.